So if I show up anywhere on your uh, video, that's a ten thousand dollar. <laughs> so if you don't mind paying it, sure. Hi, I want to get some more artwork. Okay. And I think I bought a new painting since the last time you were here. Oh, yeah. um, so, but yeah, girl. Hey, so, you look so cute. So I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck y'all doing. So. Everything that I'm doing or everything that I want to share, I'm extremely passionate about. It's like, I'm not doing, I've decided that I'm no longer going to going to do anything in my life that I'm not a thousand percent passionate about. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, if you see poetry for me, know that I like pour myself into that. If you hear a song for me, know that I pour myself. If you like, you know, same with acting. It's like I pour myself in that audition to book that role, whatever role you see me. And so I I don't know, I think I'm kind of like, not struggling with that, but like just got out of a battle with myself. Like, oh, uh, like who am I to others? But it's like, who are you are to go dance though? Right. Yeah, because that's why I broke into like using color again because I was like, I'm Innately, I want to work with color. Yeah, yeah. And I love that you do. I love color, absolutely. I really and do. I love your color. art. I'm so glad color is back in her palette. Y'all do have, y'all have no idea. <laughs> y'all have no idea. I've been waiting for it, so I'm happy that you. <laughs> no, because I know you as like Raina to me is this. It's very much into color. It's it's metallic. It's my freaking. No, I agree with you. Yeah, I, love like, your I, met, you. I met you in that. Space. Yeah. So it's kind of like when I saw you doing something different. Yeah. yeah. And then, but even when I first first met you, and I yeah. found out you were an artist, it was color. And I think that that's kind of that's inspiring because I feel like it's really cool to see a black artist playing with color in that way. And it's cool to see a black artist do surrealism and abstract the way. That too, that too, and because I feel like just you expressing your voice is exciting. So any things you think is fun. Um, so I'm not even gonna put that pressure. Like I was waiting and I needed it. No, I'm really excited that you are in this space because I think what you had to say with like grounds and, and neutrals was very needed for what that time. Was. It was needed for me. Oh, I could cry. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, oh, I'm about to cry. How cute is that? Yeah, so like, I really like that. And when I do see brown, I still think brown. But when I see color, so I think that's cool that you know you found a new place in yourself. And honestly, I think that's really cool because even historically, we needed to see humans. 
But now it's like oh, a that's rebirth. So, so like you need to see like the inward beauty, which is color. Which is color. Yeah. And like seeing that. So oh, really I wish I could have. Oh, but she got you. <laughs> Cause I'm like, oh, to see hues in our within ourselves, like. Okay, like, because let me tell you something. I study art history. Like, my whole degree is history of art and architecture. So when people talk about, and it's so wild because in school, if you just never know where your life is gonna go because I would have never thought that my cousin was going to be, number one, I did not know we was gonna go on this venture like living in California together and doing all this shit. But also like, doing that and like being a curator for a second and then living with an artist and seeing art from someone else's perspective mm -hmm. yeah. and seeing art from someone who is self-taught versus the academia of art mm -hmm. yeah. and the whiteness that they try to skew on you about art. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think it's so fun and it's also, it it really, seeing Raina's art really, is, oh, really encourages, like really, makes me hopeful for future artists in the future to see more black representation uh, in uh, genres. Uh, Oh, I was just basically saying, like, seeing her perspective of art as an art historian and a black, like, seeing her as a black woman doing it. Yeah. Number one, I can count on my hands how many times I've seen a black artist represented any of my classes, unless it was an African art class. Yeah. And mm. it was bothersome knowing that black people was in every inch of art, every part. Okay. And so it really well, inspires me as not just her cousin, but to just be like, oh, maybe the people that she shares her art with will encourage the next generation of black artists to be more present. And not saying that we were not always there, because of course we were, but hopefully it's not as whitewashed as it naturally or histor historically has been. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, I, I feel like people, like, friends, living their expression really helps you with your expression. It's not so much about somebody teaching you how to do something, it's that them being themselves. Absolutely. Eli was telling us that you're an artist, and I did not know on top of the other things that you are. I didn't know you were yeah. awesome. These are yours. Oh, okay. Thank you. It's a thousand percent we're having poetry. <laughs> oh, that's Hold on. Oh, you're so smart. Come on. Come on. You said, um, we'll ask what can we do, but that's really how I feel about her. Like, she can literally, really do anything. Literally anything. Oh, listen. Listen. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, Brio, Eli, y'all are something else. And like, y'all are something else. Thank you. 